Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it's meal prep day. I have three really good recipes for you to help you stay on track and reach your goals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I upload new videos every five days a week and we do a meal prep every single Monday. If you missed yesterday's video, I announced that I created a nutrition and health planner. It is available for purchase under $20. It includes nutrition tips, workout, frequently asked questions, tons and tons of recipes, habit trackers, weekly planners, everything you need to be successful on your weight loss journey. All of the proceeds of the purchase of the planner are going towards Lola, my little dog back there's current chemotherapy treatments. It's a very expensive treatment regimen and using these proceeds is just going to help us continue to give her chemotherapy, help her be healthy and happy and with us. So thank you again for your support of the Nutrition and Health Planner. You're going to love it. So many of you have already reached out to me saying that it's become a staple for you. So I will have it linked down below for you as well as my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's meal prep recipes. I'll also have discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as my Facebook group. Come join us. We would love to have you. So let's head into my kitchen for this week's meal prep. So for my breakfast this week, I'm making a crispy potato, egg, and onion skillet. I'm going to pair it with some turkey bacon and some fresh fruit. So let me show you what you'll need. I'm using this turkey bacon here. This is from Costco. I believe Costco or Sam's Club. It's an uncured turkey bacon. I just pulled it out of the freezer and I'm going to throw it in the oven and get it nice and crispy. I'll do that and I'll show you what that looks like at the end. You'll also need about one and a half onions, light butter, baby potatoes. You could use frozen hash browns the Simply Hash Browns, whatever your preference is, but you need some type of potato, salt and pepper, and some eggs. So my turkey bacon is ready to go into the oven, and I also weighed out 675 grams of potatoes. I'm going to throw these in the microwave for about eight to 10 minutes. I just want to get them a little bit softened. And I did decide for my eggs, I'm going to do three whole egg whites and then egg. So I have a skillet with two tablespoons of light butter. I'm going to let that butter melt completely and I did chop up my potatoes putting them in the microwave for a few minutes just soften them enough that they're I would say like 65 70 percent cooked once this butter melts we'll add our potatoes and we're going to allow those to fry until they're starting to get crispy then I'm going to go ahead and add in my diced up onion and some salt and pepper And we're going to let this cook a little bit longer. We want those onions nice and crispy. Then I'm going to add in my one cup of egg whites. And I'm going to cook those with the onions and the potatoes. I created three little wells and I'm going to crack in my whole eggs. I did reduce my heat to medium as well. And we're going to let those eggs cook through. I just pulled my turkey bacon out of the oven. I'm going to let it cool. And then I just stick it in a little Ziploc bag and throw it in my freezer. I actually think I'm going to have a BLTA for lunch today. That sounds super, super good. But anyways, I'm going to bake this up and I'll have it ready for the week. And here is the skillet. This looks so good. This makes three servings, one egg per serving. And then, like I said, I'll pair it with some of the bacon and some fresh fruit. This is a good way to get in a lot of protein, some healthy carbohydrates, very filling, high volume, low density food. So very low calorie, very low point. So I'll go ahead and put all of the information here on the screen for the skillet. Again, whatever you add to the side, like bacon or fruit would be additional points or calories, but all the information for the skillet itself is here on the screen for you. For lunch this week, I'm making high protein chicken enchiladas. We're going to be subbing regular cheese with cottage cheese. You'll never know the difference and it's going to add some additional protein. This is a super simple recipe. Let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need some type of low-fat cottage cheese, whatever your preference, 
corn tortillas. You can do pre-shredded chicken that you buy pre-cooked ready to go. You could do chicken breast, chicken thigh. I'm going to just brown up some of this ground chicken breast, taco seasoning, and a couple of cans of enchilada sauce. I'm going to go ahead and cook up my one pound of ground chicken. So here is my pound of ground chicken. I have half of a cup of cottage cheese. We're going to add that directly to the ground chicken. And then we're adding in our taco seasoning and then mix that together and that is going to be the filling for our enchiladas. And subbing regular cheese with cottage cheese, way less calories, way less points, way more protein. And if you are opposed to cottage cheese because of the texture, it melts like regular cheese. So the inside of these enchiladas will be cheesy just like if we were to use regular cheese. Now we have our corn tortillas. We're going to add just a couple of tablespoons of the meat and cheese mixture. You don't want to add too much or they will the tortilla will break. And then we're just going to fold it over and place it seam side down in our baking dish. I went ahead and added a little bit of enchilada sauce to the bottom. It adds a little bit of extra flavor to the enchiladas. And then I'm just going to repeat until I've used up all of my mixture. The recipe says eight enchiladas, but I may actually end up getting more, but we will see. I'm just going to roll and layer in my baking dish. So I actually ended up with 12 enchiladas. It makes four servings, so you'll get three enchiladas per serving. That's pretty darn good. Then I'm going to go ahead and drizzle my enchilada sauce right on top. Just make sure your enchiladas, the, the tortilla, is fully covered in sauce. Your enchiladas are going into a 350 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. My enchiladas are out of the oven. I did add half of a cup of shredded cheese to the top. That is an addition that I made. I will not include it in the points as it's not part of the recipe, but I thought the cheesier the better. Even a little bit more protein. This is light shredded cheese from Trader Joe's. So again, four servings. Each serving is three enchiladas. I'll put all the points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, I'm making a deep dish cookie pie using beans. I know it sounds weird trust the process roll with it but let me show you what you'll need so you'll need some chocolate chips these are the chalk zero I just have a mix of dark chocolate and milk chocolate I love chalk zero way 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 better than Lily's more affordable and to me they taste like actual chocolate chips they don't have that weird cooling effect and bitterness of Lily's I do have a discount for chalk zero I'll link it down below for you and then you'll need a brown sugar substitute of your choice flour unsweetened applesauce, vanilla extract, salt, baking powder and baking soda, nut butter, and then two cans of any white bean. You can use garbanzo beans. I'm using cannellini beans. So I went ahead and added my beans to my food processor. I'm going to go ahead and process these beans down to make room for the other ingredients. I definitely need a bigger food processor, but I'm going to just kind of do this in stages. So I'm going to add in my vanilla extract my one cup of brown sugar alternative, and my quarter cup of unsweetened applesauce, and then I'm going to pulse mine down. If you have a bigger food processor, you could throw this all in one batch. Then I'm adding my one quarter cup of nut butter, and then I'm going to pull this out of my food processor, and I'll just stir in my flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. I'm going to add my one cup of flour, salt, and then half of a teaspoon of baking powder and half of a teaspoon of baking soda. And then I'm going to stir all of that together until combined and then we'll fold in our chocolate chips. Then our one cup of Choc Zero chocolate chips, just fold those in. I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And then I'm using a round kind of spring form pan. I mean, we want this to look like a cookie. Speaking of cookie, this looks exactly like chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm going to add that mixture into my baking dish. And then just spread that out into the bottom to form that cookie. Our cookie is going into a 350 degree oven for 35 to 40 minutes. 
look at how amazing this looks. My house smells like I'm baking homemade chocolate chip cookies. I'm so excited for this. You have no idea. How good would this be with ice cream? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So I'll go ahead and put serving size points, calories here on the screen for you. Like a cargo, you will carry me. I just hope you know my depth. Even though it makes no sense. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes. They turned out amazing. I can't wait to have these all week. So here's to a successful week on our weight loss journey. And of course, my recipe website is at the top of the description box. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes, as well as my nutrition and health planner link. Thank you again for your support. I hope you love the planner as much as I do. I poured my heart and soul into it. I've been using it now for a couple months and absolutely love it, as well as discounts to my favorite things. And come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful week, and I'll see you in the next one.